going on ladies and gentlemen it's your boy shazam and welcome to a new installment of the auv3 show i am your host shazam the ipad producer and we have a special 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 episode we're going to be talking about the go-to eq the go-to eq is a ipad audio unit and a mac and windows vst or audio unit this audio unit is made by clevgram clevgram makes some amazing things if you don't know Now, a lot of these things are dual platform. So you get you got the degrader, you got the go to EQ, P, you got uh, Haze, which is one of my favorite, it's a stereo tool. You got um, Espresso, you got Daw Cassette, you got, I can't, I really, really, uh, Clev Grant, if you guys are listening, we need reverb or roverb over to the iPad, we need the roverb. We need Rover. Anyway, if you guys want to know anything about uh, Clev Grand or any of the beautiful things that they're doing, go over to clevgrand.se. Check them out. Okay, so we're going to be using Beatmaker 3. And in uh, Beat 3, I have a little track that I made just for this little uh, video. So we're going to go over to the mixer and we're going to bring up our effects. Now, I'm going to play you this track with all the effects off. And then I'm going to play it with them on so you can hear how amazing this this audio unit is now this is not really I wouldn't use this as a corrective EQ although you can because it has two uh, mid bands that low mid and high mid where it has a, um, a um, dynamic attenuation so that means you can dial in your frequency um, now what I like about this EQ is it has a low, low mid, high mid, and a high um, filter. Now what I like about that is that it's similar to the uh, Pultex, a um, little bit maybe reminiscent of the SSL. Those are I like to use on the desktop. Now what I do like about this EQ is if you tap and hold on any of the knobs, it'll bring up what the parameter is. So you don't have to move anything. That's awesome. Over here to the left you have your on and off button which bypasses the um, the audio unit. Um, right here, the high pass. High pass and low cut is, uh, uh, high pass and low cut is pretty much the same thing. It's doing the same thing. If you're letting the high pass go through, it's basically you're letting the high pass through the chain. Um, low cut means you're cutting the lows in the chain, so it's doing similar things. Um, there's different ways of saying it but it's tomato tomatoes just it's, it's kind of doing the same thing then right under the high pass knob you have uh, the input and then you also have the output that is the input flow of the signal or the volume and then the output volume of the signal then over that you have the low filter knob or frequency knob I'm sorry then you have a boost knob and you have an attenuation knob now boost is you're boosting the signal and the attenuation knob is you're cutting the signal now one beautiful thing about um Poltex and what they i believe they emulated in this is uh it's called a low end trick and uh, what that is is you're boosting and attenuating at the same time um this audio unit allows you to do that um it's very dope because it's a hardware style dynamic eq um, so it's mo it's styled after a uh, hardware kind of like pull tech um, but it has like I said that dynamic section in the low and mids where it's just amazing so you have the low mid where you have the gain knob you have your you can dial in your uh, your Q you got your frequency knob which is a uh, hundred and twenty to three point five K and then you right here this red knob this is the, this is the, the what I call the special sauce you know when you make that steak for somebody and you got to put that a1 sauce on them these red knobs is the a1 sauce or that Bangkok uh, peanut what's that peanut sauce Ooh, or maybe that uh that sweet silly sauce yes 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 then you have the same basically in the high mid now because these frequencies are the same or not they, they do the same thing they're basically uh, a parametric EQ, uh, uh, EQ and then you have the highs and then you can boost and attenuate the same thing so basically that low end trick that you can use on a uh, hardware um, compressors or EQs you can do the same thing in the high end so you could also use this thing as a DS or for vocals or if you want to put it on a room mic for your drums um, it's, it, it, it has dual functions and then over here you have the uh, um, over here to the uh, right, you have your input and output levels. So you can see the 
the input gain or the output gain of your signal. Okay, so now I'm gonna play the track. Let me make sure all of the effects are off. Um, now you might wanna uh, you might wanna turn your um, speakers down because uh, I don't I don't know how loud it's gonna be for you guys. It sounds good in my head. So here we go. This is the track without any effects. Okay, now we're gonna put in some EQ. Okay, now, I don't know if you guys heard the subtle differences. To me, they're not subtle at all. Like, let's say we're going to solo um, the guitar. Okay, so. Now, the one beautiful thing about uh, this audio unit is you have presets. So, um, we can go through the presets. Now, if you don't know where the presets are located, if you hit this default button, that brings down what def uh, what preset it is. And then you have a arrow button next to the Clevgran uh, sign over here, where you can switch. That's the default. So let's go. Let's see how the pre sound the preset sound. Now, I'm going to tell you, my favorite presets are Hi-Fi and a uh, Good Start. Um, I like Hi-Fi because it gives a good, nice roundness to the uh, stereo field. I'm not quite sure what it's doing in that. I mean, you can go through and look. And then I like Good Start because it's uh, apparently a good start. I mean, it sounds good, and then you can go from there. I like how the high cut's at 40 hertz. Um, your input levels are the same. So I like how they don't um gain st well i guess it's not really called gain staging but they don't boost the audio to make it sound like it's getting better because it's getting louder um so okay let, now let's hear it in context now this haze the haze um plugin my god i just gotta say my god i love 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 this plugin now listen to the stereo field without haze and then with haze just real quick Tell me that's not beautiful. Now, without the EQ, it's kind of flat. Even though it's got a nice stereo feel, it's still flat. Uh, the nice grit. I like you, like you. Okay, so now, now I must warn you. I'm on an iPad Air 2. Now, the reason I'm using my iPad Air 2 instead of my iPad Pro is because my iPad Pro is in the studio and I'm at home. And I also wanted you guys to see how you can get things done with older iPads. You don't need the best, biggest, fastest, strongest iPad. This is an iPad Air 2. It's got 128 gigs, so I got storage space, but, you know, there's workarounds. Okay, so now I use the uh, Haze on... Um, I believe that's like my, my percussion. My drums, here's the go-to EQ. Now let's hear how the EQ sounds on the drum track without the EQ and then with EQ. Uh, you hear how it, that, that snare is snapping? Gives a little bottom end. Now let's go and EQ this because maybe I, maybe I might have... Uh, Let's go ahead and take some of that boost down in that low end. Put my high, I'm gonna put my high pass at 20 hertz. Now let's go, let's go mess with that low mid. Take the frequency, I'm gonna put it about where is it? about 500 and I'm gonna play with the gain. 
You hear that? When you sweep it, the gain, then you can mess with your Q right here. You hear that? It's making that snare snap. Well, let's try this dynamic attenuator. Atten attenuation. You hear that? The subtleness in the before and after. So you can really, really color your sound. And let's go with some presets. the mids but it sounds good Ooh, too heavy too heavy mind your speakers ladies and gentlemen mind your speakers mids only acoustic guitar mid piano now let's go let's see we go drums snare tom overhead mid fist Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, oh, press it. another great, great compressor, another plug-in from them that I'm gonna go over. Basically, I'm gonna do a, 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 a I'm gonna do a Clev Grand special. This is this is gonna be the first series in the Clev Grand special. I think how does uh, Hakapak say it or Jacob uh, Clevland Kuriku. Well, anyway, so one thing that I do like about this EQ, ladies and gentlemen, is it you can really get into your sound and you can man, and you can color it and and make it sound how you need. That haze tool is uh, is amazing for the stereo field. Uh, I'm gonna go through some more. I got Daw cassette coming up. We're gonna talk about uh, what is it? Daw LP. I like that. Um, we're gonna go through and, and, and deeply talk about these and how I would use them in a setup. You've seen the befores and afters. We're gonna go ahead and do one more before and after. Now, my main, I believe because I'm screen recording, something is going on with my main channel, so you couldn't hear the fatness on when I applied it to the main channel. For some reason, it's not getting any, it's not getting any audio levels when I'm screen recording. So, look, here it is with all the effects. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming out. God bless you. Good night. This has been Clev Grand's Go To EQ, brought to you by your boy Shazam, the iPad producer. Thank you for joining in for another episode of the AUV3 Show Series, Episode One in Clev Grand's AUV Trees. Have a good one. <laughs>